I love how the world works sometimes, how, you know, you meet one person and then they introduce you to another and then it's like a domino effect. And it, it's not, you know, it, it happens magically in a way. You, you meet the right people at the right time. And I, I was introduced to this wonderful animator, uh, singer, um, creator, and uh, he's with us here today. He's worked on uh, uh, The Lord of the Rings. He's worked on Hanna-Barbera Smurfs and Super Friends, MTV Liquid Television. He has so many different wonderful projects that I could list, but we'll, we'll find out more about them here, including Hell to Pay. <laughs> <laughs> so let's get it on. Here he is, Gene Ham. Gene. Hi. Hi. How are you, David? Oh, I'm wonderful. So glad to, to have you on. I know we talked about it for a while now, so here it is. Yeah, I'm really glad to be here. You have a great show. Oh, thank you. Thank you. I um and I, I love getting, you know, messages and from you and it's it's very uplifting. Um to, to hear that, you know, someone who I didn't really know just connected with me. And I mean, it's so good to connect and create together. Yeah, well, how I heard about it was, uh, I'm friends with Julie Newmar and, and uh, uh, she told me about it because I, I, I did a great interview with her. Uh, and, uh, uh, and she told me about it. Basically, uh, how, I, how I met her, I met her way back in the 80s once. Uh, at the uh, what's the oh Barnsdale Park at Barnsdale Park that that uh, uh, they have a, a big gallery and stuff and I was I was standing here looking at this installation and over in the corner of my eye I saw some movement and here she was in a room all uh, all nobody but her and and John uh, her, her toddler and he she was laying there sitting there on on the on the uh, floor with her legs like that and he's up there play, playing with her hair and uh uh and basically up until then I was, I was just always struck with her by by uh you know from seeing her a little abner and 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 uh and uh you know she she played the the, the this guy that stunned people in the sadie hawkins <laughs> and and uh and then Catwoman. and so all i knew of her was this sexy woman but i'm looking over here and She's just a wonderful mother, and that, that 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 you don't see that on on screen, you know that that they you know they. But uh, so I re I remembered that years later, I I I worked at Alchemia, uh, the, uh, this uh, organization for special needs adults, and uh, I was making a documentary about them, and and mm -hmm. uh, and I thought, I wonder I wonder if I could get her to uh, uh, narrate it, and uh, then I thought, uh, uh, I wonder if she's on Facebook. And, and yes, she was on Facebook. And then I, I thought, uh, well, couldn't be her. It's got to be some publicist but doing all that. And, uh, and that, but I messaged her. I, I sent her some of our films. And, and she's got a hell of a good sense of humor. And, and, uh, <laughs> and loved the films. And, and, uh, and then called me up one time and had me do a little piece of animation on her website. And, and, uh, and then and traded me to do the narration for the film. Well, that animation, I was watching it again today. I had seen it before. It's marvelous. I mean, to have a combination, you know, there's Julie and her, her pictures in her clown outfit uh, yeah. and makeup. And then your animation with, with butterflies. And, and it was like, ah, oh, I could watch this over and over. It's so delightful. The, the funny thing was, I, I came up with a bunch of gags. There, there's one, remember, you see that, you know, the gag where she gets clobbered on the head? Mm. That was her gag. She 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 loves slapstick. <laughs> <laughs> I tell you what an amazing woman she is. I mean, yeah. like you, I knew her uh, in you know when she was in Batman. I mean, I grew up. I had a crush on her. Yeah, and, me too. And, and, you know, I I I wanted to be one of her henchmen when I was <laughs> <laughs> when I was five years old. You know, and yeah. <laughs> so uh, and then to be perfectly to honest, I was, to be perfectly honest. I always like the villains better than I like Batman. <laughs> I know, right? Oh my God. And then to finally connect with her. And uh, like you said, what a joy that was to interview her and 
to meet her in person. It's just, it was really, uh, yeah. So, uh, and it shows you too, like for you, you said, is that Julie Newmar, blah, blah, blah. And you took the step-by-step -step process and now she's a part of your film. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so I'm gonna ask about one more question, but I know you have one of your students coming on and then Performing Arts Studio West has a few that, that will love to learn from you, so. Yeah, well, can, can I show you uh, one film that, uh, when, I, when I first got, got to uh, uh, Alchemia, the thing is, I, I'd never been uh, around people with special needs, and, but I, I wanted to, to uh, I was wanting to be a teacher there. And, and uh, uh, but the thing that impressed me when I first got there was that there's all these people, I'm around people that are complaining all the time, they got nothing to complain about. And uh, when, I, when I met these, these people, they've got all kinds of obstacles in their life and they're not complaining. And it was just so refreshing. And, and uh, um, so, but, but I, I, I had to go on a learning curve because I, uh, it was an, I went through an evolution of, of finding out what, what I could do with them. And at the beginning, I thought they had a short attention span. Turned out I was wrong. Uh, uh, so we would always try to get a film done that same day before the buses came. And so uh, in the early days, we, we'd figure out something that we could figure out in the morning and get it done by the end of the day. And so here, here's one of the, this is actually the film that I, I, I sent to Julie Newmar that made her laugh. Uh, uh, well, let me, let me uh, share a screen here so you can see it. Uh, so let me get over here. Uh, and it's called Parking. And uh, I play the villain here. You're not handicapped. You can't park here. Yeah? What are you going to do about it? <laughs> oh! Oh! You shattered my knee. I'll never walk again. You can't walk? Oh. You can't park here. Well, that'll show you for parking in a handicapped place. Yeah. Uh, every once in a while, so I, we got people in wheelchairs, and the, that, that's the film they like. I, I think they wanted to do that for a long time. Yeah. Yeah. Well, one thing that I love what you do is you do animation, you do live action, and you have this amazing school. And um, tell, tell what you mentioned, Alchemia. What, tell us about Alchemia. Well, Alchemy is a, a day program for the arts up in Northern California. We were in a couple of places, Santa Rosa and, uh, and the Marin. And, uh, and uh, uh, they, 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 they teach people how to uh, paint and uh, they do put on shows, uh, uh, a lot of uh, singing and dancing and stuff. And uh, they're, they're, the cool thing was that uh, I, I know a lot of uh, uh, special needs programs got closed during the pandemic, but they were smart enough that, that the, that the bosses, <laughs> they figured out Zoom real fast, and we've been working since March uh, on Zoom, and then keeping, keeping everybody interested and coming up with new classes and stuff to, to work on Zoom, and, and uh, so uh, it, it's a pretty cool, cool place. Yeah, well, I mean, from looking at your website and your films, I mean, it's really, 
it's wonderful what you're doing. And it's, it's, God, it's so smart that, you know, we just jump on. It's like, okay, what's the next thing? What do we have to do to keep going? So. Yeah. The, the, the one approach I do, uh, there's two, two things that I do that, uh, uh, I, I think uh, a lot of, uh, I, I, I call it the I spy approach. Uh, b b back in the, back in the sixties, there was two TV shows about, about race uh, in the sixties. they uh, on the same season, there was a I Spy and there's Outsiders. Outsiders was a, a Western with a, a two bounty hunters, one white and one black, one former slave, one for, another former slave owner. And they were fighting all, all the whole hour. And then finally in the last five minutes, they always get, it's like the defiant ones out West. Uh, and uh, they, they, in the last five minutes, they get together and then fight the bad guys. And then they'd be arguing off as they drove off, drove off, rode off. And uh, so they were just, you know, just talking about race all the time and just in your face all the time. That show lasted three months. Ah. So I spy, they had a, a black spy and a white spy and uh, they never, never mentioned race. They're just buddies and they went all the world, all around the world to uh, have adventures. And it just made it, uh, uh, you know, it was a given, you know, so I, I think. You uh, know, and I loved seeing that in Mad Magazine all the time. I used to get it all the time. And I loved I Spy and I felt the same way. It's like, these are two buddies. I just, yeah. so I, that, I, I'm baffled. Sometimes I feel like I'm from another planet. <laughs> well, well, so this is what I do. Uh, you know, when we do our, our, our film. This this film you saw is the only film we've done where we mention uh, a handicap. Everything else, we don't mention it. It's, it's a, like a, so it's just a given that, that, that anybody can do anything. Right, right. And, and, and the other thing about that I've learned really quick was, uh, 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 which bo bothers me, is a lot, a lot of times I run into, uh, some of our students still can't read because they got shafted in school. Mm. And and uh, uh, but all through their lives, nobody expected anything of them, and, and uh, I expect a lot. And the thing is that uh, uh, because I expect a lot, they deliver. Right. And, and then they're happy if somebody actually expected something out of them. Well, you know, it's so the way when I when I teach, I teach actors, I teach entertainers, I teach yeah. creative artists. So that's the way I look at it. Yeah. Um, uh, we have, let's see, we have some, some people here in the waiting room. And I, uh, you know, I, I think I'll just, I'll bring them on, on uh, bring all of them on. Okay. There we go. There we go. And I, I know you have one of your students here too. Uh, um, and uh, let's see. Let's see what we have here. We have we have Kevin Ewing. Hello, Kevin. How are Hello, you? David. And Hello, Kevin. Lucas Seleski. Uh, there is uh, Devon Morgan. Devon Morgan. Yeah. That's me. <laughs> Matthew yeah, Selden. Yeah, I'm right here. Jared, uh, be here. Yes, uh, Austin Vance. Hey. And then Matthew Payne. Very nice. Everyone, this is Gene Ham. Hi, Gene Ham. Hi, Gene Ham. Hello, Gene hey. Ham. How are you? Good to see you. Well, he, and Gene is an amazing uh, teacher, instructor. He has this wonderful place, Alchemia, uh, where he, he he makes animation. And, and in fact, uh, the, the question that I have, and I know everybody, uh, has questions. Tell tell us about your background. Well, my background. Uh, the, my first job was on uh, in 1978. On uh, uh, am I still sharing screen or am I off? Oh, you're off sharing screen right now. Oh, well, good, good. So, so I'm not messing anything up. Um, yeah, my first job was on on Ralph Bakshi's Lord of the Rings in 1978, and, and uh, uh, then I that got me in the union, and I, I went around to all the different studios like Hanna Barbera and worked on the Smurfs and Super Friends. And uh, uh, then then I went uh, doing a bunch of, oh, in the 80s, I did a lot of music videos. Uh, and uh, then I then I came up here to the Bay Area to work on Gumby for two years. And- uh, oh, Gumby, I still have my little Gumby doll. Yeah, and, uh, <laughs> uh, and uh, then I stayed up here and uh, and, uh, and then I be, uh, became a teacher at, 
the Academy of Art and the University in San Francisco teaching animation. Yeah. And uh, uh, I'm working on my own films too uh, right now. Uh, right, right. Nice. Um, so, uh, you know, I'm going to throw out some questions as, as, as we talk, but I, I know that some of the students have it too. So why don't we start with Matthew Selden, uh, if you have a question. All right, so I have a question to make. Yeah. So, so you know, I, I'm an animator too. Cool. I'm not the first time, I'm not a senior video called Cartoon Cup Arcade. Yeah, I know some of the things are, are really funny. Well, thank you. Yeah, yeah, yeah I, I enjoyed it. Thanks. Uh, yeah, uh, 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 here's the uh, one question. Oh, oh, sorry, sorry, go ahead. Uh, do, do you know how long you make the, the cartoons for? Oh, how long does it take to make them? Uh, yeah. Well, they, they have different lengths. Uh, some, uh, uh, did you see Bubbles Troubles? Did, uh, that was part of... Uh, that, oh, that might not have been the one you saw. Yeah, you might have saw, seen, seen the newer ones, yeah. Uh, so uh, those, uh, the, the newer ones, they, they take about a couple of weeks. And uh, so I, I, I have different people, uh, we have classes like uh, every day and then, uh, so everybody does a little bit on it and, and uh, we, we record the voices first and then we uh, do a scene. So uh, we, we crank them out uh, usually, uh, I think the fastest we ever cranked one out was in a week. And uh, probably uh, usually two weeks, sometimes it takes three weeks for those little shorts are about a couple minutes long. The funny thing is, uh, when I first uh, worked there, uh, I think uh, everybody was thinking that if you see a 30-second 30, 30 commercial, it took 30 seconds to do it. And, uh, <laughs> and so I, we, we actually, uh, we did a, f a, a film called Bubbles Troubles that I can show you today. Uh, it was it's seven minutes long. And uh, that one took us uh, seven minutes or seven months to do it. Wow. And uh, so I, I wanted to get to know how, how much work it, it takes to do it. And they pulled it off and they're really proud of themselves. Wow. Now, how many people worked on this? Oh, probably we, we kind of rotated because I, I didn't want to like just do it once a week or we'd be doing, doing it for the next 10 years. So yeah. we, every time we, they came in, a, so we probably had about a, oh, half a dozen to a dozen uh, people uh, work on it. There, some people did voices and some people uh, uh, did uh, uh, the, the here, here's what I, we first did. I, I, at first, I'll, I'll show you a picture here in a, a second. Uh, the, at first, I think the stuff you saw is our latest stuff. Uh, the, uh, the one that we won uh, uh, back in, uh, in New York, we won a, a film festival, of Best Animation. And originally, I, I was kind of, uh, uh, I was treating it kind of like they do in Japan, uh, where they, they, uh, they, they have an, uh, like an apprenticeship. So I, I was I was uh, doing a lot of the drawing and having them they're they're cutting and uh, they're learning how to edit and they're 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 uh, knowing where to uh, uh, you know cut and paste and and they're, and they're getting pretty pretty good editors and uh, so I was I was showing them how to do stuff and and then Jared actually on, on uh, he did some backgrounds on on there uh, so uh, but uh, let me show you I mean, here here's the thing that changed uh, and I'll uh, change the, let me, oh, where, oh, let, let me, let me get back in here again. Uh, here we go. Can you, can you see my, that's, can you see that picture there? Yes. Okay. Cool. This, this is a, this picture, uh, I've got, uh, I had a guy, uh, in the class uh, named Paul Kenna and he was, a. Uh, uh, he had cerebral palsy, and uh, he, uh, but he had, had this rod. He had a headband, and he had a rod, and he would just go like this on his computer and, uh, and communicate and stuff. He drew this thing. I, sh I showed him. Uh, 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 we got a program called Flash, and now it's, now they call it Adobe Animate. And uh, I showed him how to take a, just draw straight lines on his computer, uh, and then then he could bend them. So each one of those things is a straight line that was bent into the shape. And he, he just worked on that, I think, for about two or three straight days. 
I, mean, I love just, how the hair is, you know, it has the blue highlights. Yeah, and uh, the guy didn't quit. And, and, and so the thing is, uh, every once in a while, I, I get some students says, I can't draw. And I said, hey, this guy's drawn with his head. What's your excuse? So, so uh, any, uh, I, I'm amazed what people can pull off when they really want to. Mm. It's, I love that drawing. Yeah. That drawing. Um, um, now, did you, uh, we could sh show that film now or we could go to a couple more questions. Uh, yeah, you want questions or you want to, you want to see a, one of the films? What do you all think? I, I think we should see one of them. Okay. Uh, yeah, let, let me right, show you see the uh, film. Yeah. Uh, one of them. So you want to see the one that, that was a transition, Bubbles Troubles? Yeah. Uh, that, that was a, oh, yeah. Okay, so yeah. uh, we, I was teaching three classes. Uh, one was a, a voice class, and then I was teaching a, a screenwriting class, and, uh, and then a, a teaching a, a, a animation class. And uh, one, of the, one of the troubles I had was that when I try, tried to get, I was trying to get original ideas, because I, I, I don't want us to get in trouble with any copyrights. So, so I asked this uh, one girl named Sophia, and, and I, I'll, I, I, I say they sent you the pictures or you can see her anyway. Uh, and uh, so I asked her uh, what her favorite movie was. And uh, she said it was Beverly Hills Chihuahua. And uh, uh, so I said, uh, and she wanted to do a film like Beverly Hills Chihuahua. And I said, well, we're going to have to come up with something a little different. So you know, Disney doesn't come after us. And uh, it says, what, what's your other, uh, you have a second favorite movie. It says uh, Marmaduke says, okay, so you like movies about dogs. And so there's big dog and little dog. Uh, uh, are they friends? Yeah, they're friends. Well, we haven't got a story. There's, <laughs> this can be real short. <laughs> they don't have any conflict. And I, I said, Hold, what about if you got uh, uh, big dog is bullying the, the little dog and the big dog friend helps him uh, uh, figure out how to uh, uh, defend himself. Okay. And uh, so so she, she writes that thing. Uh, but and I said, uh, you want to have some, uh, you want to have a, something at stake, you know, when you're writing a story? And I said, uh, uh, so what, what, why is the big dog uh, uh, going after the little dog? Uh, he wants his diamond collar. And I said, diamond collar? This, this little dog's rich? I don't like this dog. <laughs> and I said, so we, we figured out, uh, she, she helped me figure out that what, instead of a diamond collar, he had a wedding ring on, on his collar. The wedding ring of, of her dead husband, who used to uh, uh, feed the dog. So, uh, so uh, and they gave it a little lump in the throat. So, uh, so here I'll show you Bubbles' troubles here. Uh, let me get the the thingy. That's the technical term here. Thingy. Do you like a nice piece of hand bubbles? We both miss them, don't we, bubbles? Why are you sticking your head to my doghouse and erupting my neck? I'm looking for a chihuahua. There's no chihuahua in here. Oh, my mistake. Why is my bill loopy? Hey, cut it out! Not her! What are you doing here? I'm hiding from that big new dog. Can I stay here? Okay, but don't interrupt my nap. Look 
comes in such a tiny thing, makes such a big noise. Does he always chase you? Yes, every day. What are you going to do about it? I thought you could protect me. I could be everywhere. You can't help me. I can help you help yourself. What? I'm going to teach you how to fight. What do I do? Try to run around behind me and bite me on the heel. Okay. Let the animal do his own fighting. You two stay out of it. Here, here, here. Uh, uh, that was so good. Uh, Jared, uh, did, Jared did the background on the thing where he was rolling over. Oh, oh, oh. And Jared is here. He just joined us now. And yeah. so, uh, Jared. first of all, I have to say, I loved how, I mean, I was so involved with it. The story was so great. I was like, and the way you came up so close with like the bad dog, you know, it got close and was like, yeah, you know, it was like, oh, like, uh, it was great. Just we, we had tr oh, trouble with that. We played that at the Los Angeles International Children's Film Festival, and a uh, uh, little little kid had to had to be, be, be taken out of the. He was crying. I'm not oh. shy. I didn't I didn't mean to scare a little kid. But. <laughs> well, that you, that's what it's, uh, there he is. There's Mr. Jared. Oh, there's, there's Jared. Hi, Jared. Hey, hey, you guys. I'm starting late. Starting late. I had a, uh, I had trouble getting in. And I had trouble getting in. Well, uh, it happens where, uh, you know. Jared's but, my uh, man. He came actually at the perfect time. Perfect <laughs> time. We have some, uh. Now you work you work with Gene, yes? Yeah. Yep. This is wonderful at Alchemia. We have students from Performing Arts Studio West here. We have Austin Vance, uh, Matthew Selden, Devon Morgan. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Lucas Zaleski. Right here. Matthew Payne. And then we have uh, Kevin Ewan from the Born Tack Players. Mm -hmm. hey, yep. <laughs> mm -hmm. So we're all uh, hanging out. We're we're like connecting families here today. Yeah, yeah. I love it. 
Well, why Jared, don't we? Jared did a voice on the next film. Oh, he did a, a voice on the, oh, what's, uh, what's uh, the next film? This one's called Courting Disaster. in the court. Is the state ready to call its first witness? The state calls Sergeant Watson to the stand. Do you promise to tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth, so help you God? I do. And now pronounce you man and wife. Uh, I mean, take a seat. Why did the chicken cross the road? I have checked, Your Honor. That's hearsay. How can we know what the chicken was thinking? Sustain. Let me rephrase the question. Why did the firemen wear red suspenders? I have checked, Your Honor. That's hearsay. The witness couldn't know what the fireman is thinking. Sustain. I will try another line of questioning. What has four wheels and flies? I have checked he's leading the witness. Objection! He called me a guy! Overruled. I do love, I can miss, I do break, get angry through, you know, I'm flingy. Oh, it's so good. Yeah. Was, uh, uh, oh, yeah, I saw that. I, I, sh I showed you the pictures of, uh, you know, that that uh, that uh, Paul Paul Tekena did. So after that, then I wasn't doing the drawings anymore. They're doing all the drawings. Mm. Mm hmm. So, uh, so uh, they they can do anything. This is great. Hey, Lucas, what do you have a question for Gene? I do. Why do you, why don't you do animation anymore, Jeannie? I do. I still do animation. I, I do freelance animation, and I, I'm actually working on my own film. Uh, I have a graphic novel that's on Amazon uh, called uh, Hell to Pay. Hell to Pay. It will have to hook you up with Spectrum Laboratories animation class when, like, next year. Oh, cool. Cool. Uh, I'm from Spectrum Laboratory, and so is Austin Vance. Nice, nice. Yeah, I've seen some of their stuff. It's good, good, good stuff you guys do. And I'm a multi recording artist. Cool. Yes, Very he cool. has some wonderful uh, songs and records a lot. And Gene, you're you sing as well, and you write music for films. Yeah, well, I, right now I, I put all the music into these things, and, and well, help to pay. I'm doing all the mood music in it, and I've got a. Uh, I'm going to have a song at the end credits. Uh, yeah, Hell to Pay is a, it's a gra it was a graphic novel I did, and then uh, uh, I've got a distributor down in LA that uh, wants to look at it. He, he said what he saw before uh, uh, of it, 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 he said it's marketable, but it needed to be 70 minutes long, so I, I, I expanded the thing, and, and, uh, and actually, I, I thought I was worried I was going to water it down, but actually it's making it better, so, uh, so, so uh, it, it, and I'm, Right now, I'm at 64 minutes on it, so I, I think I'm going to get it done by the end of the year. Well, what I, love, what I love about it, too, is the way hell to pay, you know, you think of it when you hear it is hell to pay. Like, yeah. But the way... Yeah, you... yeah, the, pl well, yeah the plot is uh, it's about the world's first genetically engineered living to pay. <laughs> and... Uh, <laughs> And the only uh, is only the female barber can save the world when the killer toupee has escaped from the lab. <laughs> oh my God! You know I love I, this is the one thing and that I love about your work. You're so you think out of the box. <laughs> <laughs>